This is Twit. The question I've got for you is, uh, who is KD Neon for? Uh, you know, back in the beginning of the 2000s, uh, all of us in the free and open source software community were clear that we were going to knock out Microsoft and that Linux was going to be the, the desktop that everybody used. Uh, here we are in 2021. Um, none of my kids has a desktop. Uh, they all have a mobile phone and a gaming console. Um, and so I wonder who is KDE Neon for? You know, is it for, for software developers? Uh, is it for um, uh, culture warriors? Uh, who is it for? Well, KDE Neon specifically is is for enthusiasts and and nerds and fans and the beautiful people who who use our KDE software um, because that's what it it focuses on as a project um, and it gets the software out there fast and um, and as it is meant to be by the original authors unadulterated <laughs> um, and and so we have a fairly pretty niche market there I'm not pretending I'm going to be taking over the world with that anytime soon um, but it's doing software um, for for the fans and also we have a developer edition as well that uh, builds directly from Git master so that's the unstable relatively untested code um, so that's a dangerous driver to do it I run it daily usually works um, but it, it has been known to break of course um, and that's really useful for people developing KDE software because then they can dog food their own stuff and they know they've got the latest and greatest that they're working against um, I would not necessarily recommend it for people who are not operating system fans. And most people are not fans of operating systems. Um, most people just want their computers to just work and stay relatively stable. Um, so because we update KDE software every day, probably most people don't want to do that. We want to do that um, once a year or preferably never. Um, so I would tend to recommend something a bit, a bit slower moving for most people. Um, having said that, KD Plasma is a, a very fully functional, lightweight, fast, responsive, customizable uh, desktop. And we have some world-class software, which is occasional bits of it that are, are really successful. And some of it is, um, is, is on, well, it's increasing on many platforms as well. Uh, so... When you ask who is KDE Neon for, very specifically KDE Neon is for KDE fans. KDE itself, of course, is a massive project and we support that through Neon by dogfooding a lot of KDE software. Um, and the rest of KDE, KDE's output, KDE software, um, is for all sorts of use cases because we're a pretty massive community now with wide and diverse output.